Hi, I'm Thomas, and on today's episode of Becoming Swedish, we're going to be tackling baking the much-coveted Swedish cinnamon bun. So the Swede we're joined by today is none other than Lisa Hogman, who happens to also be my colleague, and she's gonna, we're going to talk a little bit about cinnamon rolls. Here today we're, we're eating some cinnamon rolls from a, let's say, a well-known high street cinnamon roll manufacturer, we won't name them. So, I mean, they're pretty good, but like, what is it that makes a good cinnamon roll to you? Well, it has to be homemade. There's no way that you can buy something that is as good as the one that your mother makes. Mm? Yeah, and I think the secret ingredients is always butter. More butter. Yes. The more butter, the better. Yes. Better butter. Better butter, yes. <laughs> better butter, good. Yeah. Mm. So does it need a particular crunch? They shouldn't be as thick, the dough, okay. yeah. uh, because I really like the cinnamon taste. I yeah. want a lot of cinnamon um, and not too dry mm. because it's, you always, I always start with the outer layer and then you eat the, the middle at the end because then it's really soft and juicy and, and a lot of cinnamon. But the butter should help with that, right? Yes. The more butter, the softer it comes. Yes. Okay. So more cinnamon, more butter. Let's talk about toppings. Today we're eating with pearl soccer, pearled soccer. <laughs> so would you go for a pearl soccer if you were making it at home or? Yeah, what would the alternative be really? Yeah. I guess you could have without, yeah. which I probably would prefer because it does get very sweet and you don't really need the, the pearl soccer, but it looks nice. Mm. So um, yeah, and traditionally it should be there, but if you go for flaked almonds or something like that, it's, it's a different bun. It's not a cinnamon bun anymore. Mm. Okay, so three top tips from Lisa there. More cinnamon, more butter. It's got to have the power soccer. And I'm completely ignoring the rules here because I started <laughs> eating it from the middle. But and you can see how I'm eating it. Yeah, it's pretty good though. It's pretty good. So with those three excellent suggestions, we're going to go back to the kitchen and we're going to make our own cinnamon buns. See you cool. there. So... To make our Swedish cinnamon rolls, you will need the following. 1 teaspoon of cardamom seeds, 50 grams of butter or coconut oil, 25 grams of yeast, 700 grams of milk, 1 egg and 1 egg white, 65 grams of coconut sugar or raw cane sugar, and half a teaspoon of salt. So we're making a gluten-free recipe today. But if you don't want to make it gluten-free, you can skip these different types of flours and replace it with a plain white flour instead. So you will need 200 grams of white rice flour, 125 grams of durum flour, 75 grams of corn flour, 125 grams of corn starch, and 40 grams of finely ground phacillium seeds. For the filling, you're going to need 150 grams of room temperature butter, 200 grams of almond paste, and two tablespoons of cinnamon. And for the garnish, one egg, and some pearl sugar. Start by finely grinding the cardamom seeds into a fine powder, then melt the butter let the butter cool a little and then whisk it together with the yeast egg and egg whites milk and sugar until it resembles a cake batter. Then in a separate bowl mix together the rest of the dry ingredients before adding them to the mixture. Stir them all together really well. Then you need to cover the mixture and leave it in a warm place to rise for at least an hour. After one hour, roll out the mixture on a floured surface into a rectangle shape that is about one centimeter thick. Now, butter the dough with the room temperature butter 
before adding the cinnamon and almond paste, having a kind of thick layer all over. Roll up the dough. I cut the bun so they're about one and a half to two centimeters thick. Place the buns on a baking tray with baking paper and cover and allow to rise for a further 40 minutes. When the buns are ready, lightly brush them with egg. Garnish them with pearls, sugar or a garnishing of your choice and put them in the oven at 225 degrees centigrade for about 17 to 20 minutes. And when they're ready, enjoy whilst warm, preferably with a hot cup of coffee. So that was our homemade Swedish cinnamon rolls. You've been watching Becoming Swedish and don't forget to post your cinnamon rolls recipes down in the comments. I really wanna see how you guys mix it up with the recipe. See you next time.